Um, breaking news from the Pittsburgh Penguins. Thomas Vokun, the player that took over the goaltending duties for the favorite in the Eastern Conference last year in the playoffs, will be out three to six months. Tough. He had the blood clot. Dangerous. Uh, they didn't think it was going to be that long. Three to six months, which now requires some help with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, it, plus the fact that Flurry's coming off two tough playoff runs. Mm-hmm. So, well, yeah, exactly. it's, it's a big concern. And it'll be interesting to see what direction they, they go in. I don't believe they go Brescale off, but who knows? Well, there were some reports earlier this week that, uh, that they they had interest in him, and I don't think that was the case, at least before they got this news that he's out long-term. They're going to have to address something in terms of providing some experience, I well, think, for... And who's for out there? Theodore, Theodore. Hedberg. You know, they're older. Uh, Hedberg in particular is, what, 40? Mm-hmm. So that, oh, you know, I mean, plus. history there. Um, but what direction does Ray go? Now, if, Ray if, you, if you didn't have the baggage of... Breeze Galoff, would you bring him on board as a backup? No I brainer. But you have, so I would think so, no right? But yeah. you, but you have the ba- the baggage. But you have the baggage. You have the baggage. You have a lot of baggage. And I, I, it'll be interesting. Maybe we can ask Chris Pronger that he he did in fact spend some time with the Briz. So we'll see. But I, 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 pretty strong dressing room, isn't it, in Pittsburgh? Although. Ben Eager on waivers. Scott Clemenson on waivers. Would they pick up? Clemenson? I don't know whether he gives you enough. But does Theodore give you enough? I don't know what the... But they have to obviously do something because you cannot put all your eggs with Marc-Andre No, Fleury. they have to do something. And it has to be a pretty... You know, it has to be quality. It, it's got to be a quality type goaltender to come in. And they're not easy to find. That's able to come in and potentially carry the load. So I think that leaves you with Brzgolov. Would would uh, Pittsburgh have gone in the Tim Thomas direction if he hadn't signed in Florida with this uh, with this happening, or would they are they looking for more of a backup to no, give confidence? I, I, no, I think I think you need somebody who can step in well, and carry the ball. Right, and that was proven last year. Right, you know, last two years and didn't give up the net and at least challenge yeah. Flurry so it's, a it's, little it's, bit. Right, it's an interesting thing in, a, in a tight for- market. Right, you now. may be forced to go Brzgala. Well. Or you may say Clemenson may be a short term and we'll see if it's three months. You know, Sid would have a lot to say about whether or not he wants a Why? guy like that in really? the room. He has a, he has a say in this? Uh, yeah, he does have a say in this. If I was a general manager, I'd run it by him. <laughs> yes, that would be <laughs> wise of Ray or anyone else. So what do you say to him? Hey, Sid. You've heard the stories on, on Brisgall. What do you, you think? you want that guy in? What do you think? Did you, by the way, happen to run into a good friend of mine and Sidney's uncle, Sidney Crosby's uncle, Rob Forbes, at the at the uh, uh, road hockey cancer? Yeah, I think I did, yes. Yeah, great guy, Rob, who works at Tim yes. Hortons and just a solid guy, a guy that was a great hockey player, and he's Sidney's uncle. Very ran close into a lot Sydney. of people. Yeah. What direction right now would you go? Would you take the risk on Brisgallov's? No, Act. I'd take Clemenson. I would, I wouldn't do anything for a couple of weeks and just see how this thing plays out yep. and see how Marc-Andre Fleury is. Put him a but, chance to start the season and, and, and but see it's not if about it, the start of the season. But it's easy to pick up Clemenson. No, but it buys you time. But Clemenson. It buys you time. Nick, Clemenson buys you time. Clemenson buys you time to see if it's a three-month or a six-month situation, and it allows your young guy in the minors to play more. So that if, you know, and, and see if he, if he has a chance to be ready. Because you can't, to bring your young guy up from the minors and sit in the bench, because Fleury's going to play the bulk, you're better off to leave him in the minors. Take a chance on Clemenson to fill the gap till you find out where you are in three months. 